It's Mr. Pete again, your YouTube shop teacher, and I have a question for you. What are these three tools? Stand by! Hello once again, it's Mr. Pete, your YouTube shop teacher, and this is episode number 57A, the question portion of my What Is It Mystery Tools series. Okay, before I get to these three tools, let's have a little update on a few items that were on the last episode. Now this is an update of an item that was in a recent episode, and at first it seemed like nobody could identify this. It's a multi-purpose tool, but several people kept saying, well, that's for holding nails while you hit them. And I thought, well, that is the craziest thing I ever heard of, because it's kind of a weird-looking contraption, but they are right. You put a nail in here, and uh, you grip it like this, and then you can strike it. Well, why would you want to do that? That's kind of crazy. Well, I guess not really, because if you've ever used hardened masonry nails for driving into concrete, you'll know that they can go twang and go flying across the room with a spark and all of that. So I guess that's the purpose of this, one of the purposes. And let me show you a couple of pictures of it, and there are several variations of it, probably several different manufacturers. And there it is, it's called a multifunction hammer plier nail holder. And there's another variation of it. On to something else. I still have people that are trying to second guess what this is. Now this is definitely a battery lifter for moving storage batteries around, not necessarily to install them in a car because it's kind of bulky. It would have worked fine on older cars and trucks years ago. But I still have people second guessing saying, no, this is for holding bricks or for picking up ice. No, it's not. This is for lifting storage batteries of various sizes. Other people are saying that it is a brick tongs. Well, this isn't nearly as big as a brick tongs. A brick tongs looks like this. And I think I showed one in an earlier episode of this some time ago. And there's a big variation on this, but this will open wide enough to carry six or eight or ten bricks. And then I have to apologize for the rammer hammer also called a doohickey, which is a brad driver. Now you can still buy brad drivers at any hardware store. They look more like a screwdriver for getting brad started and part of the reason is to avoid hitting your fingers with it or trying to hold onto a brad with a needle nose plier. But this one is not spring loaded. Some people said that you can pull this back and it will drive it. No it won't. You do have to push on it. Also, several people said they are carpenters and work on concrete forms, and they make one of these, usually they're homemade, much longer, three or four feet, allows them to reach within the forms and drive a nail where it is inaccessible with a regular claw hammer. Okay, finally, let's get down to today's items. And first of all, somebody chewed me out real bad. You know, some people are so rude and said, put numbers on these so we can talk about them in terms of numbers. So maybe I will start doing that. This is tool number one, two, and three, obviously. Okay, here's tool number one, and I have covered up the manufacturer's name. It does not tell what it does, but there's manufacturer's name, and it says that it is patented and it's a number 605 and a half so they apparently made them in different sizes but what do you suppose this is supposed to do I realize it's a specialized tool and we got compound action here something like a Bernard pliers kind of a neat looking thing I bought at a garage sale some time ago you might have seen the video where I purchased this but what does this thing do, and what trade is it used in? And that's item number one, and it, here it's got a little bale, which I guess is just a keeper, in case you have it in your pocket or your toolbox. Here's item two, also came from that same sale, I believe, some time ago. There's absolutely no name or trademark or numbers or anything on there. 
It's got a couple jaws here. Obviously this jaw moves in and out. What trade is this used in? How is it used and what is it for? Not a bad looking tool, but the handle looks real cheap, like possibly an import. That's number two. And here's item three, which is an antique tool, and it is solid brass and it's so nicely made. It's just kind of a lovely little tool. And it has degrees on there and it's marked patented with a date. It's got a bit of a level here. Clamp, brass screw, and this is cast. You can still see that it's rough cast there, but it has been polished and finished rather nicely. And the bubble still works. And even though it says patented in 1891, that doesn't mean it's that old, but I bet it is about a hundred years old. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Tell your friends if you like this type of video. And be sure and watch part two of this when available and it will reveal the answers. But put your guesses into the uh, comment section and then go back in every few days and read the comments and see what you can glean out of that. Some of them are pretty interesting. Remember, I will not comment at all in these videos. The what is it videos. This is Tubal Kane saying so long for now. See you next time.